Uh, Nicholas, uh, today's an exciting day. We're at Bajan uh, on Rodeo Drive, and I really appreciate you uh, giving us a little inside view of your watch collection. Also, which I was not aware of, um, you have some amazing museum pieces um, right. that have been basically developed um, from Bajan over the last 40 years. Before we go into that, tell us a little about um, your selection. I noticed that you have um, two brands, AP and Paddock. I assume those are your favorite brands? Correct, yeah, you know, uh, like you said, I have some pieces that I use on a daily basis with suits, casually. Some of them were my father's that I uh, now own. Mm -hmm. And then we have a collection of watches that belong, that we keep in the family that belong to me that um, are museum pieces. You know, they belong to the archives of the company, if you will. And uh, basically every three to five years, Bijan Company comes out with a new limited edition, like everything we do, uh, timepiece. Let's first start out with your first watch. I yeah. mean, you, you might have had a watch before that, but your first serious watch was an Audemars Piguet. Right, well, you know, it's funny actually, because Audemars Piguet is a, a watch that I love. Mm -hmm. And like you said, I have uh, two main watches, watch companies that I, I use, Audemars Piguet and Patek Philippe. Uh, but Audemars Piguet is a special watch because my father loves Audemars Piguet and I actually have a baby photo of me in the uh, emergency room, in the delivery room with my father holding me in a beautiful brown suit with a gorgeous uh, royal oak in gold. Oh wow. The first watch uh, I ever got as a, as like a young teenager mm -hmm. was, uh, was the same watch but in stainless steel and I have it here and uh, you know it doesn't it doesn't even fit me anymore, but I still have it, and I think I can get it about that far. Oh, wow. But, um, you know, I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. This is one piece that I've had. Just know, keep it, keep it maybe years into your future son, or, or yeah. keep it in, in, I think in your so. arsenal. I think so, you know, it's great. Maybe engrave a small message on the back and, and give it to my son. That would be very nice. And then, I guess the next one that I would go to is the one I wear probably the most out of all of them. And this is a, a rose gold, Royal of Offshore, mm -hmm. and uh, this is probably my favorite watch in the world. It's uh, that same classic uh, Audemars Piguet style, but you know the, the color combination is beautiful, and I wear this really every day. I was surprised on the next piece because I, I never knew you had you had the bling bling, a little bling bling on the AP. Tell us about that piece also. Right now, this piece I'd love to tell you about because this piece is a, a gorgeous watch, and I rarely wear it. I never really wear it actually. I wear it. Uh, to you know, black tie events. I can confidently say it's my favorite watch in the whole collection because it was my father's watch. And the same way that I wear this one every day, mm -hmm. he wore this one every day. But you also have two paddocks too. Right, right. So this one is yellow gold, and mm -hmm. uh, of course it opens up to the back, so you can see, yeah, you, know, you can see the movement and all of that, just like most of the text, but. You know, it has the, the perpetual calendar and the, the moon phase with the leap year. I think you have to set it like every hundred and so years. It's, it's a great watch. It's a beautiful watch. But then we have this one, which is a very classic piece for, for Paddock. And, and this is a, a cool, a very cool watch because it's rose gold. It's a world time and mm -hmm. has a great face. You know, the most beautiful aspect of this watch, I think, is when you see the band. You know, people would wear it, I think, as a bracelet. Yeah. You know, you have this beautiful uh, piece of, of art. Well, let's get into some of your uh, pieces, the Bajan pieces. Yeah, every piece that we do is, is a limited edition. So we have one or two pieces maximum in all of our collection. So, for example, the first piece I, I want to show you is a watch that, uh, you know, my, my father designed uh, probably 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. And if you look uh, in detail, it's really an amazing watch because it's a skeleton, it's open-worked, it's all Pave diamonds, and you can see the movement inside from the face of the watch. But the beauty of this is the way that they designed the band. I don't think you see that in, in uh, such beautiful pieces today, you know, this interchangeable and fun aspect. Yeah, no, I mean, the colors are very bright too. So this one we'll, we'll put here, and I'll show you the next one. This one is uh, one of 15 actually, and this is, you see on the face, all the numbers in navy to match the navy band. And the beauty of this in yellow gold is when you open it, you see the movement, 
and then it opens again for a message. So here you see one of 15 says, your style and character I admire always. Love, Bijan. This one is actually a very contemporary piece. And this we did, this is actually the last design that my father made mm -hmm. uh, in his life. This is called the Royal Way. And it was a sportier watch mm -hmm. that we did in titanium. Now we did it with white diamonds, like you see here, mm -hmm. in titanium. We did it with black diamonds, with emeralds, with rubies, uh, and then we did them with no diamonds. So I think the watch started with uh, no diamonds and titanium at 25,000. And depending on, on whether it was the face and diamonds, the bezel, the clasp, uh, they went up to about 75,000. The back, you have a insignia and crystal, which is a crown, mm -hmm. and then all the dime, all the uh, screws for the case are in black diamonds. Oh wow! This one is a, a new piece that was made just in the last few years. It was one of the last uh, designs that my father made as a, 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 a timepiece, and we recreated it mm -hmm. and we brought it back. Uh, as a one of one piece, we made one more, but this is with all diamonds and a white gold uh, band. So this one is gorgeous because this design is called the Phantom Watch. You see the, the case in white gold, but there's 834 Pave diamonds. VBS uh, one clarity, of course, and E color. I think it's over almost 10 carats in total. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, it's 18 karat white gold. If you push the top of the watch, then you see this comes down and you can see the movement inside and, and you see Bijan time there, Swiss made. And then inside, you can open it. There's room for the client's initials, mm -hmm. uh, a message, whatever the client, you know, decides. This one is, uh, I believe, 345,000. So the next one I want to show you really gorgeous piece, but for ladies. The bracelet is in all diamonds, and inside you see Bijan by appointment. But these are uh, a bracelet that is four-sided diamond cube. So for example, each one of these is four-sided. This is a watch that we did in the, in the 90s. And this is uh, all in yellow gold, we did it in platinum. And I think in 1994 this watch was 35,000, so mm -hmm. it was a, you know an entry level for, for the company. But um, really, really beautiful piece. It's called a, a rope watch. You see that the case looks like a, a rope. You know the bands were interchangeable, and we did them in all colors, an alligator. But look how beautiful the back is. You know this is uh, all yellow gold. You see you have Bijan and our crest. So outside of the Audemars Piguet and Patek um, brands, what are some pieces or, or other brands you know that you you um, have your eye on? Because again, you're a young collector, so I mean, yeah. it takes a long time to build a true collection of watches. Yeah, you know, I love. I mean, of course, I love Audemars Piguet, and like I said, Patek Philippe is, a, is an amazing investment. Grupo Forsi is an amazing brand. You know, those pieces, the pieces that I see from that brand, uh, are really incredible. Machines. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Breguet is an amazing brand. You know that's been around forever. So I think those two brands are uh, are potential uh, future watches for me. Mm -hmm. One of the nice things too is, uh, I mean, obviously your father and the brand's known as the king of luxury. Right. So one of the nice um, the perks that we have by being here is you're going to take us for a quick uh, overview of the store and just show us around. Um, so I really appreciate uh, the time and also being educated about the Bajan pieces also. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you.